Did you know that a leopard's roar can be heard up to five miles away? Quite the wake-up call, isn't it? And yet, that's just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to the fascinating world of leopards. These creatures are among the most adaptable big cats on the planet. They don't restrict themselves to one particular environment. From the burning heat of deserts to the lush, dense forests, leopards have made a home for themselves in some of the most diverse habitats. It's as if they have an inherent knack for survival a testament to their remarkable versatility. Now let's talk about their looks. Leopards are instantly recognizable thanks to their distinct rosette pattern. These beautiful cats are cloaked in a fur coat adorned with unique rosettes. Each leopard has its own unique pattern akin to a human fingerprint. This not only adds to their charm but also aids in camouflage, an essential survival tool in the wild. And when it comes to survival, leopards are not just runners, they are swimmers and climbers too. Unlike most cats, leopards don't shy away from water. They are excellent swimmers, often crossing large bodies of water. But their true prowess lies in their capability to climb trees. With their powerful limbs and sharp claws, leopards can haul themselves and their heavy prey up the steepest of trees. This skill serves them well, especially when they need to keep their kill away from scavengers. So, there you have it. A brief introduction to the enigma that is the leopard. They are creatures of immense strength and adaptability, capable of surviving in the harshest of environments. Their distinct rosette pattern and their unique abilities to swim and climb trees set them apart from other big cats. But how does life begin for these elusive creatures? Stick around to find out. Every life story begins with birth. And for leopards, it's a secluded affair. In the heart of the African savanna, or deep in the dense forest of Asia, the birth of a leopard cub is a hidden event. This privacy is a necessity, as the newborn leopard is born blind, vulnerable, and utterly dependent on its mother for survival. The first few weeks are precarious for these tiny creatures. Despite their iconic strength and agility as adults, leopard cubs are born weighing just under one pound, blind and with a thin coat of fur. Their world is shrouded in darkness and their survival hinges on the care and protection of their mother. The mother leopard, a paragon of feline strength and stealth, transforms into a beacon of nurturing and protection. She becomes the cub's eyes, guiding and guarding them within the confines of their secluded den. Her milk is their first taste of life, packed with the nutrients they need to grow stronger and healthier. It's a full-time job this mothering business, and the leopardess does it with an impressive finesse. She is a solitary creature, fiercely independent, but when it comes to her cubs, she becomes the embodiment of selfless love and dedication. She hunts alone, leaving her cubs hidden in the depths of their den, and returns with food, not just for herself, but for her young. This period of intense care lasts for about eight weeks, a time during which the cubs' eyes open, their senses sharpen, and their bodies grow stronger. They begin to venture out of the den, their small paws padding softly on the earth, their eyes wide with curiosity as they take in the world around them. The mother leopard's role is far from over though, she will continue to protect and feed her cubs until they are capable of hunting and surviving on their own. It's a journey fraught with danger and challenges, a testament to the resilience and strength of these incredible creatures. But what happens when these cubs start growing up? We're about to dive into that. As leopards grow, they face a steep learning curve. The journey from cub to adult leopard is a challenging one, filled with lessons, trials, and tribulations. The wilderness is a vast classroom and survival is the ultimate test. For a young leopard, this means mastering the art of hunting and understanding the intricate dynamics of their environment. Imagine being thrust into a world where every day is a lesson in survival. It's not enough to simply be strong or fast. You need to be smart, stealthy, and strategic. This is the reality for young leopards. From the moment they open their eyes, the lessons begin. They watch their mother, mimicking her movements, learning from her successes and failures. Every chase, every pounce, every silent stalk through the tall grass, it's all part of their education. But this schooling isn't without its dangers. The jungle is a myriad of threats. Other predators, territorial disputes, even the treacherous landscape itself can pose a risk to these young learners. A misstep, a moment of inattention, can have dire consequences. It's a harsh, unforgiving world, but it's the one they must navigate to reach adulthood. Leopards are solitary by nature, and this solitary lifestyle begins to take shape during these formative years. They learn to rely on themselves, to trust their instincts. They learn to claim and defend their territory, a crucial aspect of their existence. A leopard's territory is its kingdom, its hunting ground, its sanctuary. 
It's a place they must be willing to fight for, and these early years are when they learn to do just that. Growing up in the wild is a game of survival, a constant battle against the odds. It's about learning, adapting, and overcoming. It's about growing into the powerful, graceful creature that is the leopard. Now that we've seen the leopard's journey to adulthood, what's next in their life cycle? Life in the wild isn't easy, and for the leopard it's a constant battle for survival. Every day is a game of stealth, speed, and strategy. These solitary creatures are masters of the hunt. Their keen eyesight and acute hearing, paired with their exceptional speed, make them formidable predators. They favor hunting under the veil of night, using their rosette-covered coat to camouflage into the dense vegetation. Their diet is impressively diverse, ranging from small rodents to large ungulates. However, it's not just about what they eat, but how they eat. Leopards are known for their unique dining habit, hoisting their kill up into the trees. This clever strategy keeps their hard-earned meals safe from scavengers and other predators, but it's not always a solitary affair. Leopards occasionally face stiff competition from other predators such as lions, hyenas, and even large birds of prey. These encounters can lead to fierce battles where the leopard's agility and strength are put to the ultimate test. Yet, the greatest threats to leopards aren't found in the wild, but rather in the encroachment of their habitats by humans. Rapid urbanization and deforestation have significantly shrunk their territories, pushing them into closer contact with human populations. This proximity often results in conflict, as leopards are forced to hunt livestock or even venture into human settlements in search of food. Poaching is another significant threat. Leopards are hunted for their beautiful fur and other body parts, which are sought after in illegal wildlife trade. Despite international efforts to protect these magnificent creatures, poaching continues to be a persistent problem. The survival of the leopard is a race against time and a battle against odds. They constantly adapt and evolve, their survival instincts honed to perfection over generations. Yet even as they navigate these challenges, another aspect of their existence comes into play. But amidst the struggle, life finds a way. Let's uncover the leopard's mating rituals. When it comes to love, leopards have a unique dance. This dance of courtship is a delicate ballet of power and persuasion, a game that can only be mastered by the most skilled of players. It begins with scent marking. You see, the leopard's world is a tapestry of smells. Each scent tells a story, and for a male leopard, the most compelling tale is the one told by a female ready to mate. Her scent marks, left on trees and rocks, are a potent perfume that signals her availability. The male, drawn by this irresistible aroma, will follow her trail, eager to become a part of her narrative. But the dance doesn't end there. No, the female leopard is a discerning chooser of partners. She wants a mate who is strong who can protect her and her future cubs, so the male must prove his worth. He does this through a show of strength, a display of raw, unfiltered power that leaves no doubt about his fitness as a mate. It's a breathtaking spectacle, a testament to the leopard's tenacity and drive. Once the dance is done, the pair will mate, a process that can last for several days. It's an exhausting endeavor, but a necessary one. For without it, there can be no new cubs, no continuation of the leopard's lineage. And speaking of cubs, rearing them is no easy task. Mother leopards must be vigilant protectors providing for their young while also fending off threats. It's a delicate balance, one that requires strength, cunning, and a fierce maternal instinct. But despite the challenges, these mothers persist, driven by a primal urge to ensure the survival of their species. In the end, the dance of courtship is a beautiful, complex ritual. It's a testament to the leopard's resilience, its adaptability, its unyielding will to thrive. As we've seen, the leopard's life is a cycle of birth, growth, survival, and reproduction. But what happens as they age? As with all creatures, the sunset years for a leopard come with their own challenges. Just as the setting sun paints the sky with hues of red and orange, the life of a leopard in its twilight years is equally filled with vibrant stories. A leopard's life cycle is a captivating journey, typically spanning 12 to 17 years in the wild, with some reaching the ripe old age of 20 in captivity. As these majestic creatures age, their once formidable hunting abilities start to wane. The agility and speed that once made them feared predators slowly diminish. Their sharp canines, once perfect tools for delivering the death blow to their prey, wear down, making successful hunts increasingly rare. And it's not just the struggle for food that challenges these aging leopards. The jungle does not favor the old. Younger, stronger leopards may challenge them for their territory. Other predators, sensing their vulnerability, may pose a threat as well. 
But despite these challenges, the leopard does not go gently into the good night. Even in their old age, they are a testament to survival and resilience. They adapt, becoming more cautious, relying more on stealth than speed. They may not be as swift or as strong as they once were but their survival instincts remain razor sharp. No longer the apex predator they may resort to scavenging more often, or hunting smaller easier prey. Their territories may shrink, but they defend what is theirs with a fierceness that commands respect. The sunset years of a leopard's life are a poignant reminder of the circle of life. It's a period marked by struggle and change but also by adaptation and resilience. The leopard, in its twilight years, continues to be a symbol of strength and survival, a testament to the indomitable spirit of the wild. From birth to death, the leopard's life is a testament to nature's resilience and beauty. Our journey with the leopard comes to an end, but our responsibility to these magnificent creatures does not. This elusive and majestic creature faces threats from habitat loss, poaching and human-wildlife conflict. Its survival hinges on our collective action and understanding. Leopard conservation is not just about ensuring the survival of a single species, it's about maintaining the balance of our ecosystems, preserving biodiversity, and securing our planet's future. It starts with us, with our choices and actions. We can reduce our carbon footprint, support organizations working on wildlife conservation, and educate others about the importance of these creatures in our world. Leopards, like all wildlife, are a testament to the beauty and complexity of life on Earth. Their survival is our survival. Let's stand together in the fight to protect and preserve them. Remember each one of us can make a difference. Leave a comment, share this video and don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more insightful content.